The city of L.A. is expanding its RV parking ban once again to include more streets on L.A.'s west side with the hope of getting more people out of their RVs and into housing. NBC 4's Ted Chen visited Venice where people there say the RV problem is getting worse. There's a sign forbidding encampments near schools just a few feet from the encampment right in front of the preschool of First Lutheran Church of Venice. For the people here, it's symbolic of the city's futile efforts to address homelessness. We routinely have to clean up human waste and toilet paper. There's the stench of urine. We can't have those in our communities. We LA City Council Member Tracy Park, who represents Council side. District 11 on LA's explosion. west side, authored the new ban that now expands the number of streets that ban overnight parking by RVs. Advocates for the homeless oppose the ban, saying those who live in the RVs have little choice, but Park says there are ongoing efforts to get them housed. The ultimate goal is to get folks who are living in those types of environments into housing and safer settings. This man told us his RV community does not cause any problems. I live in this vehicle here. We keep our street clean. We take care of the neighborhood. Park says the city continues to look for lots where the RVs can park safely, but specific locations have yet to be determined. In the meantime, the church and those who live nearby worry that the parking ban on certain streets will simply push the problem elsewhere. And so what's going to happen is that the areas where they now have bans, um, those people are going to leave there and they're going to come to our neighborhood where they know that they can be. And unfortunately, this big sense of helplessness is a little overwhelming. In Venice, Ted Chen, NBC4 News.